All right guys, good morning. Today is your lucky day because I'm gonna teach you how I make my MCT iced coffee. All right, first thing you're gonna need, we're gonna need coffee. Second thing we're gonna need, liquid coconut MCT oil. Third thing you're gonna need, a blender of some sort. I have the neutral bullet, so put it in there. And last, but not least, we need some ice. So, move some things around. So, one scoop is about two grams of coffee. So we're gonna do four grams. I'm gonna fill that with water up till around there. Yep, that's plenty. Now we're gonna use a tablespoon. Boom. Just one is enough because it does quack. <laughs> quack? <laughs> Pack quite a bit of few calories per serve. You're getting roughly 123 calories per serve. So, coffee, water, MCT oil, and also put some ice in there, chuck it in there, three, two, one, oh, there we go guys, got your MCT coffee here to kickstart your day, cheers. Ah, there ain't nothing like starting your day with an MCT iced coffee. For all you guys out there that are tracking your macros, calories and whatnot, and who are a bit skeptical of drinking this, I highly recommend it because you do need to get some healthy fats in your diet. And um, I'll just name a few um, just to kickstart you getting your day started with one of these. So, seven science-based benefits to MCT oil. As the name suggests, medium chain triglyceride contains medium length chains of fats called triglycerides due to their shorter length. MCTs are more easily digested than longer chain fatty acids found in other foods. So it's going to be easily digest, which is what we want. MCT oil could potentially promote weight loss. It has been shown to increase the release of two hormones that can promote the feeling of fullness. So it's actually going to help you keep you fuller for longer that way if you are dieting you're not going to be um, going out of your mind bash it crazy because you can't get because you, you just can't stop eating and I actually weighed in at 88.5 today which is awesome because I've been struggling for the past couple of months now to get down um, if I'm not fasting so that's awesome so the two hormones that can promote the feeling of fullness in the body peptide double Y and leptin one study found that people taking two tablespoons of MCT oil as part of their breakfast ended up eating less food for lunch compared to those taking just plain coconut oil. Alright, cool. MCT oil could be a good source of energy. So, the body absorbs MCT oils more rapidly than long chain triglycerides, which contain more carbons in their fatty acid chains due to their short chains. So it travels more quickly from the gut to the liver and does not require bile to break down like longer chain fats do. In the liver, the fats are broken down to be either used as fuel or stored as body fat. Since MCTs are easily enter your cells without being broken down, they can be used as an immediate source of energy. How awesome is that? So when you're on a ketogenic diet, MCTs can be also converted into ketones in the liver these ketones can pass through your blood-brain barrier, making them a source of energy for your brain cells. That's so cool. So MCT could, so number three, MCT could reduce lactate buildup in athletes and help use fat for energy. So MCT oil could potentially increase fat burning and reduce the need for carbs during exercise. However, it's unclear whether it translates to improved exercise performance.
So MCT oil may improve brain, brain function, which could have benefits for people with epilepsy, Alzheimer's disease and autism. MCT contains fatty acids that fight yeast and bacterial growth. Overall, MCTs have a variety of antimicrobial and antifungal effects, though more research is needed. Um, MCT oil may reduce risk factors for heart disease. So some factors increasing your risk for heart disease include high cholesterol, blood pressure, inflammation, body mass index, and smoking. So MCT oil may help reduce heart disease risk factors such as weight, cholesterol, and inflammation. And last but not least, MCT could help manage blood sugar levels. Now that's a very important one. So MCT oil could potentially help manage diabetes by reducing fat storage and increasing fat burning. It may also help manage blood sugar. So yeah, just look it up yourself guys. MCT oil, it's um, really good powerful stuff. Believe it or not, but I for one am an advocate of MCT oil and I love it in my coffee. And we're just gonna leave it at that today. So if you uh, made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate you. Please do like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.